There's a lot here, I think, for, for land management agencies, fire, um, collaboration, how we move forward uh, into the future. We've got very challenging times ahead. We heard today from a, a couple of keynotes about climate change, uh, you know, what, what's in store for us, higher FDIs, shorter burning windows. You couple that with uh, ecological issues, smoke management issues, and, and it's going to be quite challenging. So this is a great forum that gets people together uh, to, to look at the science but also make those uh, relationships and, and talk to people about how we can do things better into the future. The collaboration is something that we're learning through the FireWise program, that we're learning through attending conferences like this, seeing what other folks are doing, seeing the programs that they have. It's vitally important because at one level across the board programs are trying to get residents to collaborate with partners in their communities. Uh, maybe fire agencies, maybe government agencies around them. At that next level, it's trying to get them to talk to their fire departments and learn about the risk that's there and then how they can do things to make it a safe environment for those firefighters when a bushfire occurs. I think the third most important is the peer-to-peer. -peer. When residents know they can talk to other residents and collaborate amongst themselves, both for that community risk reduction, but also to share in that greater effort that's going on. Collaboration is, uh, is actually about doing things differently with other players involved. And it requires hard work. And as I said in my talk, it, that often starts with really looking at your existing business model and how it either includes or excludes people. And then uh, what it would look like if you were actually involving those other parties in the best way possible for you and for them. Collaboration takes commitment. That was the biggest message I tried to get across, particularly in countries like Canada and Australia where uh, the responsibility for emergency management lies at not a federal level but a state provincial level. And so in order to truly collaborate, you have, to, you have to do it voluntarily and that takes commitment and that's the biggest message I was trying to get across. It's important for us to be advocates for our community uh, who are the voice and the research participants but also to understand our end users, the different agencies that we work with, the needs that they have, uh, the responsibilities and resources that they have so that we can find um, that optimal fit with the research work that we're doing and give cases and research that can drive an evidence base to support decision making for agencies to then help community members. The research agenda is mainly not about collaboration. It's about doing, looking at specific topics, not in isolation, but with a largely a disciplinary focus. So that's a bit of a criticism of it. And it, a lot of people would argue it would do better if we had more of an interdisciplinary and collaborative approach. Another view would be that, well, it's collaborative between each of the projects and the end users, but those end users are specific to that project <clears throat> and uh, it's a reasonable supposition that there are a lot of other people who would love to be involved and but under the present structure I don't think it's so easy. Currently we're too solution focused, we're front loading where collaboration is going with solutions, we're sort of charting perhaps where we want to be too early, whereas collaboration at the start of my presentation I talked about being open to ideas and going where it takes you, not being too prescriptive with the ideas. I think that it's often good enough to be there with a diverse group because what is important to people and agencies will soon rise to the top and we'll be able to collaborate on those through, a, through just a personal relationship hierarchy that we develop ourselves. If we're serious about uh, involving others in the work we do, then the leadership of the organisation needs to signal that that's important and staff need to see that there's a connection between what they do and what they say is important around those issues. <laughs>